Shalom everyone. This year we'll be learning uh, Torah, Chumash together. And the Chumash is obviously the, um, the Torah, it's the first part of the Tanakh, part of Torah Shebikhtab, the written Torah. You know the Moshe Rabbeinu when he went to Har Sinai received two parts of the Torah. Torah Shebikhtab, the written Torah, and Torah Shebel Peh, the oral Torah. What is Torah Shebikhtab? We'll do this a bit of an introduction. Some things may be well known, but I think it's important to do an introduction before we start. Anyways, what is Torah Shebikhtav? Torah Shebikhtav, the Tanakh, has three parts, the Taf, the Nun, and the Kaf. And everybody knows, Tanakh is Torah, Nevi'im, and Ketuvim. Torah, Torah, Nevi'im, the prophets, and the Ketuvim, writings, I guess. That's what they're called. Um, what, is the, what are they? What's the difference between them, the Torah, the Nevi'im, and Ketuvim? The Torah, we all know, Chamisha Chumshei Torah, we said every uh, Seder night, Chamisha Miyodea, Chamisha Chumshei Torah. Bereshit, Shmot, Vayikra, Vamidvar, Dvarim. Okay, then what's the Nun? What's the Nezi'im? What's, the, uh, what's in the second part of the Torah? In the second part of the Tanakh? In the Nezi'im, we know, Yoshua, Shoftim, Shmuel. Shmuel is considered one book, although in later days, because it was so long, it was split into two, Shmuel Aleph and Shmuel Bet, but really it's one book. Melachim, again also one book, even though it's known as Melachim Aleph and Melachim Bet. Yeshayahu, Yermiyahu, Yechizkel. And then the last book of the, um, of the Nevi'im is a book called Treasar. Treasar in Aramaic means 12. The book is called 12 because it has inside it the books of 12 Nevi'im that the Gemara said since the Nevi'im have very short books and very short prophecies, not like Yermiyahu and Yeshayahu have dozens and dozens of Prakim, but they have just a few Prakim, therefore they put them all together into one book. Like if you have, um, if you're carrying something big, then it doesn't, if you're carrying a chair, you don't need, okay, you're carrying a chair. If you're carrying a lot of little things, if you're carrying marbles, you're not going to carry one marble. One, you think that those that's how it gets lost. You take a plastic bag or type bag, you put all the marbles inside, and you hold it all together, that's where it doesn't get lost. And that was the idea also of Treasar. They put them all together so that if somebody, since there are short nevuot there, if everything was a separate book, something might have gotten lost. And Treasar has 12 nevi'im inside. Hoshea, Yoel, Amos, Ovadia. Yona, which is what we read on Mincha of, um, of Yom Kippur. Micha Nachum Chavakuk, Tzfania Chagai Zcharia Malachi. Those are the 12 Nevi'im that appear in, that appear in uh, the Nevi'im. The Ketuvim, the writings, what are they? So those are the books of Tehillim, Mishlei, Yov, the five Megillot, Shir, Sherim, Rut, Echa, Koelet, Esther, and Daniel, Ezra Nechemiah, Ezra Nechemiah is one book together, and Divrei Hayamim, that's also one book, even though it's known as Divrei Hayamim, Aleph, and Bet, also because it was long, it was split, but really it's one book. And those are the books of the Tanakh, the five books of the Torah, the books of the Nevim, and the books of the Ketuvim, all together 24 books. What's the difference? Why is something, what makes something Torah? What makes something Nevi'im? What makes something Tuvim? What happens? What, what is the difference between them? Why is, let's say, Mishlei, why is it in Ketuvim and not in Nevi'im? Why is, uh, I don't know, Amos, why is that in Nevi'im and not in Ketuvim? Why is something in the Torah not Nevi'im? Moshe Rabbeinu is also a Nevi'im. So why, what makes something Torah, what makes something Nevi'im? make something to view. Some people thought, well, maybe it's a chronological thing, that if um, things that were earlier, they were in the Torah, at some point, that stopped, and then a new phase began, this is the Nevi'im. That phase ended, that's the Ketuvim. That cannot be true, because uh, Tehilim, which is in Ketuvim, was written by David HaMelech, um, and, and we see that the Nevi'im go until the end of Bayit Rishon, the end of the first temple period, even the beginning of the second temple period. And David HaMelech was even before the first temple, first Beit HaMikdash. And Mishlei was written by his son, Shlomo. A sefer uh, Migilat Rut was written by uh, Shmuel HaNavi, which is even before David. 
And that's in Ketuvim, and before many of the things that happened in, 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 in Nevi'im. And therefore, the chron- it's not a chronological order. It's not that Torah happened first, and then Nevi'im, then Ketuvim. So what is the difference? And the difference, apparently, is the level of Ruach HaKodesh in which, with which the, that book was written. In other words, Moshe Rabbeinu had the highest level possible of Ruach HaKodesh, of Nefuah, of prophecy. The Rambam talks about the difference between Moshe Rabbeinu's prophecy and other Nevi'im, the prophecy of other Nevi'im. But he was on a totally different level than all other Nevi'im, therefore his book is on a totally different level than all other books. It was given to him on the highest level possible of prophecy. And therefore that's the Torah, nothing else can be Torah. The Nevi'im were on a lower level, not the level of the Torah, but a little bit of a lower level. The other Nevi'im wrote them, Yoshua, um, Yermiao, Shmuel, uh, Yechezkel, Yeshayao, the other Nevi'im that are mentioned, <coughs> and some that are not, not even mentioned, uh, they wrote uh, the Nevi'im, but that's on a different level, on a lower level of Ruach HaKodesh, of prophecy, than what Moshe Rabbeinu had. The Ketuvim were written even on a lower level of Nevi'im, or level of Ruach HaKodesh, and therefore it's a separate section. Since the things there, it's not they're less important. It's not that, that they're less true or that they're less um, whatever. They're just different because they were written uh, with a different type of heavenly presence upon the person writing it when he wrote it. The highest level, Moshe Rabbeinu, Torah. Lower level, the Nevi'im, when they were writing the this, this Sefarim of Nevi'im, then that, was, that goes into Nevi'im. And when that could be that same Navi. Shmuel and Navi wrote both the book of Shmuel, which is in, or at least part of the book of Shmuel, which was in the Nevi'im. He also wrote Megillah Jerut, as we said, which is in Ketuvim. So when he was writing it on a higher, when he was on a higher level of Nevi'im, writing it, uh, Sefer Shmuel, that went into Nevi'im. When he was writing on a lower level of Nevi'im, that went into Ketuvim. And that's a basic overview of what the Tanakh is. We'll be in touch. Shalom, shalom.